up guys, how's everyone doing? Um, it's late, I'm about to go home, but I decided to do a quick live. There you go. So you guys can see everything that we have at the shop, that actually a lot of the stuff is on sale because we're moving. But we don't have many things left. As you can see, we have this whole row. Let's see, let me walk that way. Let's see. The whole row of fish, then we have that row of fish. So I'm just gonna take you guys along. So you can see, because we do have some fish that are not on the website. Turn around. Okay. So starting over here, these are the lemon barbs. They're pretty cool. They get really big. Don't take time. We have some blue masseers. I'll buy a clown. Now these guys are big. They're about eight inches. They're all fat and healthy. Uh, I don't think there's anything there. The Mad Barbs. They're pretty cool. So if you see something on this video that's not on the website, just send us an email at livefish at And I'll help you out. I'm taking a whole week to sell fish, so hopefully we can get all these fish sold. But these, I think, are the Kawhi Catfish. We got some big rib saws over here. Indo tarpon, mascara barbs. Oh, these are the, there's no light in there, but it's uh, the loach, imperial loach. Okay, now here, the flag tails, they're really good size, they're fat, healthy. Look at the size of these fire yolks. They're on the website, they're not cheap, they weren't cheap to import. This one, the one of the bigger ones that have a blind eye, so I'll probably have to sell him a cost. See? The other eye works just fine, but this one's blind. And we have two Tiger Mori eels. They're inside of the pipe. One is out here. A couple of the Chinese wells. The Kappa Petrum, the cousin of the Pira Iba. Golden Guaranis. Panda Barbs. There's so much in here, it's like, I don't even know. Jaw Dovi, I guess. A little silver cichlid. Black clothes, black clothes, black clothes. And I think we have one red tail there. Pock are probably gonna be sold out soon. We only have a few of them. The hybrids, the red tail hybrids. Now talking about hybrids, let me show you these guys. Look at this. If you like catfish, that's something you don't see very often. This is a leopard rip saw. It's rip saw with tiger shovel nose. Really cool. Awesome fish. They're all on the website, but just let you know, I'm keeping two of them, so there's not many left. I definitely want to grow two of these guys out. The spider kelp berries, the high grade ones, they're big and they're healthy. Like this guy right there in the middle is about, let's say, nine inches. Albino arrows, they're all super healthy. You're eating pellets, literally. Like, um, I put a whole handful of this right here today, and they loved it. Hold on, let me see if I can open with my teeth. There you go. All right, come on. They already ate like three times today, so I'm sure they're gonna eat again. Look at that. I don't even know what the pellets are all back there. So these guys are really, really healthy. And they're eating frozen shrimp, smelts, and pellets. We got the little zebras back there. I guess the, the king will with a false zebra. Now, these are really cool, but they're also very expensive. We have one, two, three of them. But they're, they're very expensive to bring in. They're also very expensive to import because of the freight. If we don't sell them, I think we're just gonna grow them out. These, we're almost sold out on them. 
those are the the redhead the albino redheads and they're big as well like some of them are like six inches there's a lot going on in this tank right here so these cats are pretty special they're not iridescent sharks they're like an albino platinum type of um, Pangasus, but not they were decent and you can even see the, the their meaner the way they swim the way they eat their tails They're a hybrid of something, but you know, it's almost impossible to know the full Detail, but they're awesome some bigger high fins And Some of the carp But the carp only a few of them are start eating already they take a few days to start eating. Now this is some of the guys that I like. The grunge. These are the, the giant grunge, the Arelli. I think we have three or maybe a little bit over three of the bigger ones. Okay, a lot of people don't know about these guys, but they are like an Asian tiger fish, pretty much, with the barracuda mix. They're awesome, slender. They can get huge, they can get five feet. But they're very, very cool predatory fish. They need a bigger tank. Really, really cool. I, I actually want to grow a few of them. These are great size. Some of them are like 12 inches. But they're on the website as well. Uh, so we did, went through here, went through here. What else? Got couple green phantoms left not many that one's pretty some of the golden maharas snowballs fajacas i think all the fajacas are on the website at a cheaper price but we have a decent amount of them i think we have two bronchopondos left clowns of the bigger hybrids look these guys right here they're some type of driftwood cat i put them up for 25 bucks just so they can go i don't even know we'll probably pay a lot more than that just in freight but i want to start moving some fish out we got plenty of oscars albinos there's two pikes back there they're 25 each This whole tank of vitres. We got some more nates. Look at the African pikes. They're all eating frozen already. I think they're on the website for 48. And they're good size, they're like four to five inches. What do we have here? Uh, blue eye pleco, some green severums. If, if you like pike, that pike right there is probably one of the prettiest pikes in the world, together with the Zabrina. I'm telling you, once you put them in a tank, look at the spots. Once you put them in a tank with driftwood, a background, and sand, he's gonna be honestly like, look at the tail. It's because I don't have a good light in the system, and I don't mind taking them with us, but that's a very nice pike. They came from Suriname. I think that's it. The electric blues are looking good. Two blue eye cichlids. I want to sell this whole group to someone that will put them in the tank. These are the leucistic tetras. I can't count how many in there. I'll do it all for like a hundred bucks. Just take them, put them in a black sand with a blue light or like a neon or something. I promise you, you're going to love it. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. So we don't have that much left, but still a good amount of fish. Oh, wait, hold on. Look at this mess. It's crazy. I hate working when this mess out, but let's see. Look at this. We'll have to punch, uh, pack a bunch of boxes today. This guy is definitely going up with us. We got some more fajacas here. These are a little bit bigger. Maybe a little fatty. And then some sturgeons. They're all 
pretty big. I just fed them. They're so healthy. This is one of the super whites that's already sold. But these guys put on some, some size already. They all came in around four inches. And that's it, guys. We have literally nothing left. Getting ready for the move, I might have to go to LA to help Kevin pack. And then for LA, we're probably gonna ship all his stuff to New York. Go to New York, put everything together, and then from there I'm gonna fly back, put him in one of these, put the sharks on that one, and take all these guys with us. These and all of these. Dog has to come. Remember that white grouper? Look at him now. It's crazy how they change colors like that. Then we have prime time, we have Hulk, a few more sharks. All that stuff gonna come out. So it's gonna be a, it's gonna be challenging, that's for sure. Alright, let me see. What happened to Taser? Taser died a long time ago. We ever get more Phantom Red Tails back. Um the Phantoms, the the male that produced them pass away. So I don't think they'll ever come around unless they're able to produce them again. Just a little short tail. Nurse shark. Mini doc. Are there bamboozles legal in Texas? Yes, they are. When are you coming to Long Island? Uh, we're probably going to be there full time by March, but it's going to take us time to set up. How about the Shinas? Yes, we don't have that many left. I'll show you. Okay. That's it. They're putting on some size, but their colors really truly show once they mature. When do you know Bumblebee's Oscars? Yes, um, I actually have a shipment coming in with uh, Bumblebee Oscars, Fogo, um, Jow, Zebra, The Flash Zebra, Dorado Catfish, True Piraibas. I'm not sure what else, but those are the main ones. What month can we order from Canada. Um, yeah, once they start warming up, then we can ship to Canada, no problem. The hawkers are all on the website at a discounted price. Now, taking this boy right here is going to be fun. You guys keep fishing LA. Uh, we did, and then a lot of the fish now are in New York. Christopher Brent, send us an email. Whatever you saw in this video, just send us an email, livefish at brentoyfins.com, and we'll work it out. When you go to New York, you need to set up a display with black wolf and goldfish. And a gold wolf fish. Yes, we're definitely gonna have pretty much all the stuff that we can have in Florida. Um, Daimara is one of my favorite predator fish and he's definitely gonna be there. Right, Sheila? No. Are you getting any short red short body red tail catfish? Not at the moment. Uh, maybe when hold on.
hey, don't do that again. Maybe when um, we're full time in New York, then we're gonna we're gonna start doing them again. Are you going to sell baby Arabimas? We have some right now, but we don't have baby baby. How much shipping? Once you put your address on the website, it will give you the correct shipping cost. I live in New York and it's cold. AF right now. What are you going to do about heating the place? Uh, we're definitely going to insulate the whole building. So as far as shipping costs, once you guys put your, uh, your address on the website, it will link into UPS and give you the correct shipping cost. Are you behind in shipping, John? No, the problem is some of the stuff we couldn't ship today because it's gonna get very cold in the next few days. So we're just waiting to warm up a little bit, but all the places that we could ship that was safer, we ship today. Is there any more archer fish? There's only one left. Take them, 15 bucks. Are you still doing pickup at the shop? Yeah, just send us an email and then work it with Val. She, uh, she's the one that keeps everything ready, you know what I mean? Do ship to Canada, we do, but when it's warmer out, right now it's too cold for the fish to make it because Canada sometimes is a two day shipping. Rachel, I just love your channel. Oh, thank you. Do you know when you might be open to the public? I know it'll be a while. So, right now, our goal is to set up so we can start selling and making money because the bills don't stop. You know, we have to pay the Florida, we have to pay the LA location, we have to pay New York location, our bills, the move bills. So, there's a lot of money going out. Obviously, we want to try to get it up and running uh, as fast as possible. But we have a lot of plans for that building. We want to do a big exhibit uh, in the future and have um, all types of like rare monster fish. Hopefully we can build a tank bigger than this one for the monster fish, bigger than that one for the saltwater fish and have a bunch of uh, pretty much rare species from all over the world so we can display them. <clears throat> and then have the retail area and, other things that come in mind. But uh, we're hoping within six months to a year, we're allowed to uh, start having people walk in. Minecraft, keep up the great work, man. Wish you the best luck. Thank you. The new shop book order for you this summer. When it's warm, we'll have the channel. Thank you, I appreciate that. How hard is to get an Arapaima? Some states do not allow Arapaimas, but I would not, have them or buy them unless you have the, the appropriate tank size. Is Kevin moving there? Yes, Kevin and I are partners. We're both combining our facilities into the new building and we're going to work together under one roof with predatory fins and stingray biology. DLC Aquatics. You're going to be getting yellow and red tiger parrots. Yes, once we move, we're going to start importing from Asia again and we're going to, we're hoping to do a ship in a week. Can Aeropyama handle a bit of cold temperature? No. They, they can live, but they will die very shortly because Aeropyamas have lungs just like us. So if they're breathing in really cold air, they'll catch pneumonia and die. How big would the Dorados be? Uh, I would say about 10, 8 to 10 inches. Have you ever had any dwarf giraffe pets? Yes, I had them before, but not anytime recent. Hello from Cape Breton, Breton, Nova Scotia, Canada. Damn, hey Dickie, it's like really cold in there, huh? Got any high fin loaches still? Yes, we actually got some really healthy ones around 5 inches. But not many left. What would you recommend for cold weather? Uh, definitely the 
Uh, the hyphen loaches, the arrow barbs, but we're out of stock on those. The sturgeon, paddlefish, and that's all stuff that we're gonna have after we move as well. What's the minimum temperature for an aeropyma? I wouldn't put them below 75. Christopher, email sent. Sounds good, as soon as I'm done here, I'll check mine. Uba, learned a lot from about fish. You're learning a lot about fish on your channel. Keep it up. Thanks, man. Do you know on the top of your head if Kansas allow our primers? I don't know on the top of my head, but if you send me an email, I will start looking into it and then let you know the, the answer. 2 a.m. in England. Rogers. Hey, man. Time to go to bed, man. This is Ahmed. What's up, Rodrigo? Love from Toronto. What's up, Ahmed? How are you, bro? Can you own a stingray in Georgia? I don't think so. I think uh, they're not allowed in Georgia, just like in Florida. Any more sturgeons coming in? We have a few left, not many, but they're all like 10, 12 inches now. Do you ship to the Caribbean? Yes, we can. Airport to airport. Um, you just have to make sure that you have a license to import. How big is this fish? You talking about the Arapaima? Uh, that one is about six feet, which is gonna be a lot of fun to catch and transport them. Do you have any black ghost knife? No, we don't. No problem, Leandro. Do you have a horn shark? Yes, we do. Um, it's not for sale, but we do. Once we're in New York, we're gonna be doing a lot more salt water as well. William X, can you ship to Canada? We do, we can, but it's safer to ship when it's warmer out. Terry's Tropical Tanks, just stopping by to say hi. What's up, bud? Great chance. Just lost my favorite fish to dropsy. Yeah, dropsy is a very hard disease to, to, to cure. You have to really, usually that happens with like, if the fish were raised in really poor quality water. Uh, you know, I don't know where you got the fish from or what was the condition, but it's a very hard thing to, to, to heal. How old is the Arapaima? Uh, right now, probably say around six years. Rachel, what's your dream fish? You're looking at them right here. These guys and the Arapaima. That's why I kept them. Arapaimas are always one of my favorite fish, so the sharks. Uh, I also like the, the Asian Arawana, the I was trying to lung fish, but as far as like favorite, favorite, I don't think anything would beat these guys for me in your Arapaimas. What do you think of the clear poop bombs? They work well. I think they're fine. Just make sure that the fish are not going to poke it. Can you get any fly river turtles? I'm sure in the future we'll try with paperwork. Hi from Venezuela. Hey Nestor, how are you? Can you ship to the UK? Brad, just send us an email and I'll explain to you how the, the shipping, international shipping works. Are you ready for the snowstorm in New York? It's about to get it. Uh, yeah, I mean, we have to do what we have to do. One of the main reasons why we wanted to move is because um, a lot of the fish that, that we want to have, they're prohibited in Florida. So, how can you be predatory fins without the predatory monsters, you know? So that's one of the reasons. Um, also, we wanted to be close to Lisa's family. Kevin's family is in New York. And um, I'm not really a big fan of the cold, but sometimes you just have to do what you have to do. But if you guys have any questions on the fish that I showed earlier, 
just sent us an email livefish at predatoryfins.com and I'll go ahead and uh, reply to everyone. All right, but that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna focus this whole week on just pretty much selling what we have left so we can get the move going. But we are definitely going to be in New York full time, I would say by March, end of March. Because now once I set up all the systems that we took, and we have to go to LA, get the systems from Kevin, once we set everything up in New York, I'm gonna fly back here, box up everything that's left, put in the truck, take the big bins with all the big fish, put them in the truck and go. All right, so let me know if there's anything that you guys saw that is not on the website that you would like to have. I probably didn't show that either, but we have a couple of the, the dolphin. Now, the dolphin is a very fun fish, but if you have like a male, a dominant male with a bunch of like other fish, they won't allow the other ones to eat, so you have to separate them. Like you can see this couple of big fat ones and some skinny ones. And this is probably like one of the dominant males right here. So every now and then we'll have to separate them all. All right, guys, I'm gonna go home. I gotta go take care of Ryan. But let me know if you have any questions on the fish that I showed you. And um, we'll see you soon.